Now today I'm doing a collaboration with Ben Marples. Now as you saw in that intro, um, we're doing a sort of poker routine, which makes it really fun. You can either use this as a poker routine, and if you have other poker tricks that you like to do, there are tons of them that you can do. So if you just want to incorporate that into it, you can also just use this when you're playing a game of poker, and you just give yourself a really fun, quick hand, and then everyone's really surprised, and you can say, well, that's because I'm also a magician, and start showing off a little bit of cardistry. So I will link a whole cardistry tutorial um, right up at the top, an entire playlist for all stuff, so you can show off while you're at the middle of the poker table. And let's get into this tutorial right now. But first, make sure to just go and subscribe to Ben Marples. And if you want the deck that I'm using in this video for 15% off, go to the description and I've got you guys hooked up. So let's get into this tutorial right now. Now, here's what you're going to need to start off with. You're going to need to start with your whole pack that you're going to hopefully win with this trick. So you're playing a game of poker and this is the hand you want to come out with. So you, this is the hand you're gonna take and stick on the top of the deck. That'll happen before anything else. Just stick it on top and then you're ready and set up for the trick. Now that you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it and show everyone that the cards are all completely different. If you're going to do it as a magic trick and if not, you can just keep it face down and not do anything if you're actually playing a game of poker, but I would not recommend cheating. Um, because it's not ethical, and if you're playing with people who are really serious, um, it couldn't, it might not go well. So, I um, wouldn't recommend cheating with this. Um, just recommend using this for a regular trick. So I'm just going to show you how this is done. So what he does in the performance is he goes through and shows that all the cards are different, and in which case they are, and in no particular order. What I would do at this point, actually, let me show you what he does, and then I'll show you what I would do. So he turns it back over catches a break under all five cards, and then he does a double undercut. Now, if you don't know how to do the double undercut, I do have a tutorial on it, and I'll link it up at the top and down in the description as well. And it just brings all five cards to the bottom of the deck. Um, what I would do personally, um, instead of doing a double undercut, because it shows more cutting and more things involved, is I would keep it simple. So you've gone through now and shown all the cards that are all different, what I would do is I'd catch a break right here. So at the very beginning, I'd catch this break under these five cards, and I would do a turnover pass. Now a turnover pass as well, I do have a tutorial for. Again, I'll link it up in the description. But the basics of it is you're gonna be taking this and flipping it like that. So it looks like you're just turning over the deck, getting all these cards to the bottom. So in full speed, it's just here like this, and you just turn over the deck just like you normally would and you're good to keep going with the trick but you already have all the cards now here on the bottom that's just what i would do um, but you can feel free to use any control that you want to to get all five of those cards to the bottom now at this point if you're doing it as a trick you can just start setting them down and making two piles so and make the second pile here and, or you can do it how if you're going to make a game out of it you can make the give it to the be a lot of the different people. So however you want to do that, that again is up to you as a performer and how your routine goes through this. Um, what he did in the performance though is he just makes two piles. So he goes through and does pile after pile, card after card, and then he makes a second pile. Now in this pile, he doesn't deal down the top card like you would think he would. What he does is he does a bottom deal. Now, I do not have a bottom deal tutorial yet on my channel, which I will come out with eventually, um, but he does have one, Ben Marvels does, that he just came out with, I think it was last week. So I'll go ahead and link that down in the description so that you guys can check out his bottom deal tutorial. So you're gonna be doing the bottom deal, going through. Of course, that was very sloppy because I really haven't worked out in a ton. You know. So you're gonna do your bottom deal and you're gonna be going through and you're gonna do it all five times so you have all five of your cards here. You can even just let take the rest of these cards and them off the side. What he does is to make it easier on himself, which I think is really smart um, for at least a trick, is he ruffles down the sides, uh, I'm assuming which is saying uh, the spectator can call out stop and get rid of this amount of cards, or you can honestly just say um, nothing, just take off this amount of cards if you want to. But in the way that he did it was he ruffled down the side, call it out stop, 
gets rid of these and it does make it easier on himself because it's a little bit harder to do a bottom deal when there's so many cards here. Either way, you've done it now all five times and you have your entire stack there. You can take the rest of these cards, you can get rid of them, give them a shuffle, burn them at the stake, feed them to your pet tarantula, I don't know. I'm just making up random stuff at this point. And then you take these cards, and what he does is he makes it, for a performance standpoint, a little bit more dramatic than just saying, hey look at all the cards. He takes them and one by one flips them over from the 10 to the jack. That way the spectator starts to realize what's happening and it doesn't all just flash on them, flash on them at once. It's the spectator gets to figure this out as it goes along. So the jack and then the queen and then the king. Then last but not least, the ace of spades. So. Make sure to go and subscribe to Ben Marple's fantastic, fantastic magician. Came out with that intro on his own. So if you haven't subscribed to him already, please make sure to do so. Subscribe to me so you can get uh, more tutorials and such here on the channel. Giveaways going on and deck reviews, etc, etc. And if you would like to see me do a collaboration with someone else, drop it down in the comments on who you think I should do a collaboration with so I can reach out to them or you can blow up their comment section etc. So, love seeing your beautiful faces. I'll catch you guys in the next time. Make sure to drop me a dorky pun down in the comments if you guys did make it this long. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Card Perfect. Signing off.